Welcome to Zentangle Project Pack number 23. My name is Molly. Hi, Molly. My name's Martha. Thanks for joining me today. Of course. Look at this amazing, beautiful color. I love how it dried. I know. It's so mystical. I love it. We're talking about strings today. So the next step in our process, getting ready for Tangle Day, is to think about putting a string down on our template. And before we do that, I wanted to sort of walk through what a string might look like on a tile. And so here we have like a couple of tiles that have an array of different strings. And as you can see, very different strings, very <laughs> different. Yeah. And it's really what lives beneath, right? Mm -hmm. It's like the magic underneath um, our artwork. And strings really provide us with structure, with yeah. um, I safety think net a little bit and a little bit of courage because now you have an idea of what to start with. Yes. Um, um, it's that's actually, a nice way to put it. Yeah, it's really important. It's actually the fourth step it's in the graphite courage. It's graphite <laughs> courage. Oh my gosh, that's a new one. You can write that down. Yes, <laughs> for sure. So um, I've always attached myself to the process of a string and even if I completely ignore it um, I often will just put something down to sort of get me accustomed to something that might trigger an idea or provide a suggestion and um, yeah we don't spend a lot of time planning it no every once in a while there's a string that's suggestive or like had an inspiration um, and that happens too but for the most part it's something to divide up your space right which is exactly what we're gonna do here so we have this first um, template, and we're going to be working in that space that kind of looks like the background, yeah, that faint um, tan color, basically, around the edges of the circle. And then later on, we'll be putting a little bit of a string inside of that ring. So to start off here, and we do really encourage you to walk, watch this preparation video through because we show different variations throughout the video that you might understand there's options. And so to start off with here, I'm going to just very gesturally kind of swing through this way and that and break up the space into, I don't know, maybe like a dozen spaces. I'm not counting them. You can always them. add more later <laughs> yeah. and you can ignore the string lines. So this is just something to get you started. Yeah, so I like to use kind of more like undulating flowing lines. If you're like a really rigid, more, um, you like straight lines, that's fine too. So. Don't worry about it. There is no exact way to do this. What we're really trying to do is divide up the space. Yeah. We're already working with a template, so there's spaces provided already. So this is just like another layer of string. Some of it will have to do with the tangles that we do. Mm -hmm. And again, you'll decide if you need to add more or ignore a line. What I like about this process, Martha, is it's gonna make everybody's template a little bit different and mm -hmm. a little unique so that not all of us have exactly the same thing we're working with. So we're gonna do it again, just to show you another option. This is, um, we're working on one that has no watercolor surface just to give you that option as well, just if you decided to skip that step, which is fine. I do love the big looping strokes though, it's fun. It is fun, yeah. I can already imagine some things that might nestle in into those little right? spaces yeah so as martha said we can add to this later there's no um rule that says once you like put down your pencil you're not allowed to add to your string <laughs> this is a very very open um place for adding strings and, and this is a smaller space yeah. up here and and notice that she's she's Putting that graphite down pretty dark so you can see it, but you can um, have a lighter touch on your art if that feels better to you. Now I'm revisiting the first one, and we're going to look at this ring. And this one, we're going to be a little more methodical about it. Um, there are times when we um, create strings that are maybe like metered out a little bit, and we don't measure things exactly, but um, it is a fun way to create something interesting. So here we're working, um, Martha made the analogy of this looking like a clock. I was thinking more of a compass, but basically marking north, east, southwest, and then, and then the midpoints of then those. Then the midpoints of those. So you'll have eight little marks there. Kind of guessing. Yeah. It's just a little mark. They're going to disappear. It's just by eye and no measuring, and it'll be interesting because of that. Right. So then I'm kind of looking halfway in between those lines, and I'm just going to create kind of a 
Well, like subtle swooping line. Creating like a nice arc. Yeah. In two strokes. And what that does is kind of gives us a point on the other end. And if your lines have a little different style, then you might have a little different result. And that's <laughs> fine, too. I think that's very fine. Yeah. Yeah. Just dividing it into somewhat equal spaces yep. around the, the... Ish. We like to use the yes. ish um, yes. adjective. Yeah. And you kind of have to guess where the arc or where the ring kind of goes behind. So we're making some guesses. And like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect, just subtle. Assuming you're watching this through first so you can <laughs> go back and do your own. <laughs> they got this. I think they're going to get it. Yeah. Yes, I think so. And like we said, if your lines are a little bit different, then marking off my points up and down. Sorry, these templates are quite big, so fitting it all under the camera is hard, but I think you get the idea. Maybe shake it up a little with this one. I think so. What do you think? Yeah. I think creating some uh, little bit more straight lines is what. Yeah, instead of doing the arcs, just doing a straight line. And that's fine, too. So it, it does give it a different look. And, um, and I think both have, like, their... interests you know exactly and it's really just playing with halfway points the whole time so it's and again don't get out your rulers don't get out your compasses just eyeball it <laughs> we're just playing around and we want that kind of softness that organic feel to it that makes it human so well there we go I that one's actually nice is really pretty that way so too. pretty not yeah. sure which one i like better yeah and we're going to be working on multiple templates throughout this process so you're going to see a little bit on one template and a little bit on another just to know that like yours is different too and you're kind of taking the inspiration or the lesson from us but applying it to what's going on in your tile your I think template that's, um that's really one of the important parts of this particular project pack is that we're really inspiring you to take this and run with it, yeah, basically. And I often feel like when we do a project like this, it's like you follow along with all the lessons, and then it's like you almost want to do it again because yeah, you're well, like, I think we do have people that yeah, do it again for sure. There's our yeah, so uh, non color, this, yeah, which is going to be beautiful too. So I always like to show that too for people who are like, eh, I don't think I want to do the watercolor background, and we will revisit the watercolor pencils at the end so we can if you decided not to do a background with that you might add a little color at the end here's another one that we did um on the side you can see this one a couple of different All options variations with the same tools right that. layers and layers this is a mm. little more undulating you can see that one i didn't even meter it out i just kind of yeah, like put it that there circle that's yeah. very like that, wave like that I, one's I like not that. halfway out at all it's just kind of like very groovy yeah there's martha's she her uh coloring is a little bit darker so i'm guessing she had to go darker with her pencil in there i did and then i had a spill and so i embraced the spill and added oh, another one is that's that what, what those little drippies are Here's one that Julie did. Beautiful. I love all the variations. They're all ready to rock and roll. Well, we'll see you guys um, very soon to get our tangling going. Yes. Thanks, Martha. So excited. Thanks, Molly. See you soon.